Ah, the days are gone. No, the beautiful days are gone. George Pierce is dead. Uh, Brian Duplessis is gone. Now, the soup kitchen and the shelter is not like it used to be. Like right now, behind me, we have tents. All right? Tents. Right beside the shelter. And don't know if it's active or what's going on. But I haven't been to the soup kitchen for maybe two months. So I walk in there, go in the back, not the back, where the kitchen is, you know, where the washroom is. And then I asked a question, I said uh, to the cult, we'll make you no name. Hey, come here for a minute, I want to talk to you. What do you want? Whoa. And then I just, you know, like, I, I don't want to be out front. I was right beside the washroom. Oh, you're not allowed to pass that line. What's, anyway, it's off. Oh. I mean, you can't get no information. Soup kitchen, of course, beautiful food, beautiful service. The volunteers, they're beautiful. I mean, you, it's the best soup kitchen in New Brunswick, in Canada. Now, what I wanted to know and what the problem we're having, these tents behind me. Now, of course, uh, I know I'm Scottish, but I'm a half Canadian. I have a heart. I want to know, ask question behind the scene, how many people are living in these tents? You know, mental issues, I know one, or maybe if, is it just there for a, a reminder of homelessness in, in Fredericton? Of course, you can't go at the shelter. Uh, it used to be you could go in, when Brian Duplessis was there. Issues, people, you ask questions behind the scene. But from the attitude I got over there, the soup kitchen, you can't get nothing. So what happens, they have something like this, Who's going to be in contact? That building will be in contact with the police. The police would arrive here, clear the whole goddamn area. And, of course, mental illness, we won't know. All you hear is like Moncton, a big headline, uh, tent destroyed, people upset. But if you have no communication between the public, and like I said, it's not the first time, uh, the dishwasher, there was no dishwasher for two months. Volunteer for washing the dishes by hand. I went there and then next thing you know, the woman in charge said, yes, sir, may I help you? you nothing, you can't get no information, no nothing. So the bottom line here is, if you don't have communication for people that happens to end up in that area and you're not allowed to ask questions to find out really what's going on, we have a problem. But what they do, they bring them in court and then they bring them in jail, they transfer them from uh, from here to St. John and Miramichi and they force them to walk home. But that's no issue about us, you know. Now, things are changing and they're changing fast and it's not for the better. Why do I get involved in these issues? Why, why, why?